Hi friends, hi pastors. Well, you know, this year, as you know, is gonna look very different this Easter. We're not gonna be, our church buildings are not gonna be filled to overflowing with people sitting shoulder to shoulder. The hype and, 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 and joy that we have in, in the big crowd is just not going to be there this year. Uh, the church lawns are not gonna be filled with kids scrambling, trying to find Easter eggs filled with candy. And we're not gonna have Easter dinner with our extended family gathered around us to celebrate this wonderful day. It will look different. But you know, I've been thinking about as I've been reading through the gospels this, uh, this Lenten season and in this COVID crisis time, I've been thinking about how Jesus loved to meet in the small intimate gatherings. And I want us to lean into that and think about that today. Uh, I've been reading through the gospels and I noted that 12 gathered in the upper room for Passover and when Jesus instituted the new covenant. Three disciples were pulled aside to go and pray with Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane. Four women and one uh, disciple, the beloved disciple, were the only ones at the foot of the cross who loved Jesus and were followers of Jesus. One met him in the garden after, on the day of resurrection and clung to his and grabbed him by the feet and worshiped him. And two were on the road to Emmaus, and only 10 disciples were behind locked doors that first evening of resurrection. You see, Jesus was not afraid of the small crowd. He was not afraid of the intimate gatherings. And as you prepare for Easter Sunday, let's trust the Lord to show up and show off his resurrected being among us and uh, and let's let's let the God, let God do something great even in the small and intimate ways and may we like Mary Magdalene be able to say I have seen the risen Lord and give the message of Easter to those who will tune in to the way in which you find that you can communicate with your community and with your flock. God bless you. We are praying for you. You are frontline soldiers in this war against fear and anxiety. May you live into that calling this week. God bless you.